talk about the business being hurried, very versatile, and when it comes to some, you can't pass me, because you have done talked about all of it. Yo, what is up guys, it's Wage here, bringing you guys another basic tutorial on the plugin Griebler, and uh, this Griebler effect is pretty cool, it's pretty chill, and you probably see it in a lot of BG and stuff, so I'm, you know, you gotta, you're gonna want to know how to do it, you know, you just want to, and uh, yeah, uh, you can download the Griebler effect in the description right now, and uh, basically if you don't know what it does, right here it's rendering out for you guys, basically it's a distorted type of ripple effect for tiles and whatnot, and it looks pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. When I go ahead and delete this one, go ahead and uh, you can I can clarify that you can use it with Motex, anything you put into NURBS, because it has the caps option. But I may be like super wrong. It probably be like everything in the world you can use it with. But I'm just gonna say that I can clarify that. So uh, all right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go to Motex, gonna go to caps, and I I advise you guys to use fill a cap. And if you want to go ahead and put fill a cap, just put your steps and radius in two. I just choose to do that because I feel like it looks better. I don't know, it just smooths it out perfect for me. I don't know, it's just my, it's just me. And uh, all right, so once you do that, you're gonna scroll down and go to type. And right now you see type, it says end gons. So you're gonna have to click that and uh, click on quad angles and then check the box of regular grid. And then right below regular grid is the width. You change that anything below number 10. So I went with nine because I feel like it's the best for me and uh, for everyone else, so uh, yeah. Um, basically you're done with that, and simple as that was, all you gotta do is go to your plugin, your Griebler, go ahead and click on that, drag your text or your NURBS inside, and you get this effect. Pretty cool, right? And uh, let's say if you guys see these like little spiky things coming out, like uh, out of the, the tiles also, you see little spikes coming out. Let's see if you guys like are, well that's not your style or uh, you don't want it there, but I'm f for sure this looks sick and when it's fully rendered it looks really cool. But let's see if you don't want that and you find like you want a cleaner version, all you gotta, go, all you gotta do is go to your Griebler and it says uh, basic core blah blah blah, go to your stock and then it says generate Griebless, uh, that's such a weird word to say. And uh, go ahead and uncheck that and as you can see all those little spiky things on your uh, tiles and like the side of your uh, text or whatever is gone. See, like, just so I can do it again, so you guys know what you're talking about, know what I'm talking about, and see that how it's there. Uncheck it. Now it's not there. So that's how you get rid of that if you were just wondering. And uh, yeah, and if you want to change the settings a little bit, let's say if you want these to pop out more, you're gonna go ahead and go to Griebler and go to your base this time and mess around with the height and bevel. This one is how much it pokes out. So if you want to put that up, it pokes out more and distorts it more. It's pretty cool. You can do really, you can do anything with this, and uh, you can put it on a model, put it on anything. It looks pretty cool, and uh, yeah. So hopefully this helped you out, learn how to do it, and uh, hopefully I see you guys use it because it's pretty well used right now. But uh, hell, go ahead and you use it now because uh, you know how to do it. Thanks to me. I'll see you guys next time, and uh, peace. So I see you out.